okay now let's see this question this question came in gate 2013 for one mark the question is which one of the following is the tightest upper bound that represents the time complexity of inserting an object into a binary search tree of n nodes okay so there is a binary search tree of n nodes n nodes okay and we are going to insert an object now this is a very easy question but the only thing is that they are just checking you uh, checking with you a basic concept of binary search tree so many of you might be thinking that okay n nodes are there then uh, okay the tree height will be log n and therefore in worst case if we are going to insert a new object then we have to go till a depth of log n and that's why our answer will be order log n but that is exactly what they are testing they are testing that do you know what is the exact definition of binary search tree the definition of binary search tree is that each node can have at most two children they may not have uh, two children so for example if this node is missing then also it is a binary tree if this node is missing then also it is it is a binary search tree so if this node is missing then also it is a binary search tree so what happens that if you take the example of a skewed binary search tree then it will be more clear so if there are let's say n elements and all are skewed something like that okay so there are five elements all are skewed like that and it can be something like that also from here also uh, skewed in the sense it can be something like this also so it can be something like this also but skewed in a sense that every node is having exactly one child then it is going to go to as deep as possible in n uh, nodes case it is going to go till as deep as n minus 1 okay so this is n minus 1 depth so that is what they are testing that what is going to happen in that if there is a binary search tree of n nodes the upper bound the tightest upper bound can be time complexity where you can go as deep as order n minus 1 which is essentially order n okay so if you know the exact definition of binary search tree then in worst case it can happen that there is a binary search tree something like this with n nodes and we have to go till order n depth okay so in that case we can understand that our answer is going to be order n so it will be not order log n it will be order n